The jury reached a verdict on one of the counts, but not both. Kemi Dixon is charged with homicide by abuse and second degree murder for the death of three year old Hazel Holman. The judge is instructing the jury to continue deliberating the very last thing that full courtroom wanted to hear after waiting for so long. The bailiff tells the court she received a text message from the jury saying they reached a verdict. She says she then notified the judge, prosecution and defense. The bailiff says 30 minutes later she got another text from the jury asking her to come to the deliberation room. Once she arrived, the jury told her they had a verdict on one count but not the other. We don't yet know which of the two charges is still being deliberated by the jury though. Reflecting back on closing arguments, the defense contended Hazel choked on food on November 27, 2019. Dixon's attorneys say the choking accident is what caused the brain injuries that led to her death. Many times, Hazel's many injuries were mentioned in trial, like her several broken bones, bruises, burned hand, and infected eye. The defense noted Hazel had a vitamin D deficiency, claiming it caused her bones to be more fragile and prone to other injuries. Prosecution argues Dixon abused Hazel over the course of five months. The deputy prosecutor says the medical examiner's office found 50 injuries, all at various stages of healing. Given the length and medical complexity of this case, jurors certainly have a lot to sort through. Additionally, a judge says an alternate juror was called on yesterday, which restarted deliberations. We're in a three month trial and, and less than two days of formal deliberations since we reconstituted the jury on Monday morning. So I think it's appropriate to send them back for further deliberations at this point. Detectives say Hazel died in November 2019 of a brain injury consistent with shaken baby syndrome. Hazel's father is Brandon Homan, Dixon's boyfriend. The child was under Dixon's supervision while Homan was at work. Deliberations will continue tomorrow here at Whatcom County Superior Court. Reporting in Bellingham, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.